So, hello guys. Um, in one of our videos, we tried the Smooth Q from Zion to use with smartphones and action cameras. Today, we are going to use a system to use it with Sony RX100. This is Mark IV, but I think it can be used also with Mark V. So, I'm going to show you how to disassemble this and adapt this counterweight that you can buy from any mechanical gimbal to use with this gimbal and the Sony RX. So let's do it. Let's disassemble this one and start the assembly of our setup. This is a very easy do-it-yourself fix at home to use the gimbal with the, the, the Sony. So let's start to disassemble the, the gimbal to, to use this. First, we need to take this little rubber that it's in here that gives access to the screws on the bottom. We use the screwdriver and we take them out like so. With this screw, screw out, we can unscrew the back, as you see here, and take this part out gently. That's it. We have another screw, let's take it out. It's not that complicated. So, take this out. So, now we unscrew this part out, and that's it. So now we have this piece, this piece, and this piece. For the system that we are going to use, let's save this one we are not going to use. Let's save this to use with when we are using iPhone, uh, iPhones or smartphones and action cams. So now we have our counterweight. We, like I said before, we took this out from the mechanical gimbal. It has a counterweight, this is around 190 grams. If we shave out 15 grams out of this, it will be perfect to use with the, with, the, with the Sony RX. We already weighed everything, and we, but like this it will work. So, we have a screw that goes here and passes here, and we can use the piece that comes with the gimbal to secure the camera. Because when we, op when we open the, 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 the locking system from the Zion in the vertical way, it fits perfectly and it holds really well the, the, the Sony RX. So we are going to use this. The only thing that you need to be sure is that the screw, this screw is enough to secure this piece in here, like so. So let's start the assembly of this. We already disassembled the, the gimbal, so let's start to assemble this with the counterweight and the pieces from the gimbal. It's really easy. You just screw, the the counterweight with the screw with the enough length to pass like this and this one in be sure that this needs to be fixed on the vertical or it will not be possible to fix the camera but it's really easy to 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 change this so like so and it's done now we are just going to reassemble this Screws back on the place. Put my message above. <laughs> and that's it. It is finished. We can now install here the camera to, to try it. As you can see, it's really clean and, and it's easy. We turn on the camera because we need to balance this and we install it here. Just like a, a normal smartphone, we just install it here. And as you can see, so as you can see, it is assembled and it is centered. So as I told you before, it has a little bit of extra weight here on the back that we are going to take off and we will update this so but next time it will be like this but as, as you can see we can turn it on and voila it is working and it works perfectly i can do whatever i want look as you can see it's working perfectly of course you can feel the extra weight but 
it's working and for a gimbal of this price it is amazing that it can do this so this Zion of around 100 euros more or less depends on the places where you buy at this moment works better than the, our previous gimbal the Nebula 400 and it make it has more options it's easier to mount and you can even use the the, the sheath as you can see even without the, the lenses out, it's balanced. So, that's it for today. A different video, but a very useful one. I hope that this helped you to use this gimbal with your own camera. Maybe this will adapt to other cameras, but for now, it's for the RX Mark IV from Sony. Do it yourself, try this at home, and goodbye. See you next time. If you like this video, please give your thumbs up to the video, and so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we will bring you more do-it-yourself videos regarding these issues and others that you need.